Hello everyone, Russ of Aquarimax here. We are going to be feeding our leopard gecko, Pago, a smorgasbord of different foods. This is a wax worm we're going to start with. We've had her about, what has it been? Oh, Close to five years. The first years. year we got, we moved here. Yeah, almost five years. And we got her as a pretty young little gecko. She's in a bioactive enclosure, as you can see, and she's coming after a superworm now. These are all dusted with her Pashi Calcium Plus, which is both calcium and a vitamin mineral supplement. I'll put a link in the description to that if you haven't tried that. She looks like she's getting ready to shed, I think. This is a bioactive enclosure. We've had her in for probably three or four years. There's a banded cricket. We've been working with banded crickets lately. They seem to be better in a lot of ways than the uh, house crickets you get at the pet store. And of course, here comes some mealworms, another staple food for our leopard gecko. They're one of the geckos that does pretty well on a diet, including a lot of mealworms, as long as they get the supplementation they need. She also gets some UVB light. Even though they're nocturnal geckos, there's some research demonstrates that they can probably benefit from it, so we do offer her some. And she's been doing really well in this enclosure for, like I said, approximately three years. The bioactive substrate we've got and there's the last mealworm there i just wanted to uh, show you some of the cleanup crew if i lift up a couple of these pieces of uh, cork bark move her hides around oh sorry I spooked her just a little bit must have that we have uh, various superworm beetles as well as three different color morphs of porcelione des prinosis the powder blue isopod, the powder, or powder orange, and the uh, whiteout. And they all seem to be functioning really well as a cleanup crew in here. The um, superworm beetles are a recent introduction. You know, uh, people often say that they need to be kept individually to pupate, and it's true that that encourages them to pupate. The only thing I had to do to get these to pupate was to put them in this bioactive enclosure. Oh, don't eat the beetle. I don't want you to eat the beetle. It's probably not going to taste very good either. Here, let me scoot that out of the way. She's still hungry. We're going to have to go get her some more food in a second, Laura, then. Okay. Anyway, with this substrate, they just dig down and find themselves a good place to pupate and uh, do really well that way. So I may just pupate some beetles here. I've clipped these plants back recently. You can see new growth on them, but they are also looking kind of uh, trashed because I clipped them back so heavily. They were pushing up against the top of the screen, and that's my fault. I didn't uh, clip them earlier. I let them go too long. Well, before we go get uh, our gecko a couple of more insects to satisfy her ravenous appetite, I want to thank our backers at Patreon for all that you do. There's a lot we do on this channel we couldn't do without you, so we really appreciate your support and the support of everyone who supports this channel in any way, whether that's just watching the videos or using the affiliate links, purchasing things from Aquarimax.com. It is all appreciated, so thank you, patrons, and thank you to all of you. And also, thanks for watching. I post videos every Wednesday and Friday, all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then, click the bell icon so you don't miss our next video. <laughs> I think I missed that. That's so cute. That would have been. Little yawn.